All right, folks, welcome back to Drone 2 Robotics. I am David, and today we are going to be reviewing something I've had for about three years now. I just thought I'd go ahead and give this a review because this has actually been an outstanding and well working item, which is the Goal Zero Venture 35, which is the power bank here, and the Goal Zero Nomad 10, which is this solar panel here. So in this video, I'm going to give you the basic specs, essentially what both of these things do, my personal thoughts, and just kind of an overall review of both of the Nomad 10 and the Venture 35. So let's start with the Goal Zero Nomad 10, just because it's the shortest, quickest subject, because there's not a whole lot when you think about it to go with the solar panel. It folds open, so you got two panels. So it's got this little stand back here that you fold out, and so that way you can stand up and ugh. there we go. Now this panel is just the panel. Literally, you got a plug. Uh, you got a plug in here at the back. That you plug either the power bank into simply like this. You would plug it in, or you could actually direct uh, have the your phone. Or your drone whatever you're charging plug directly into the solar panel as well this is a 10 watt uh output uh, solar panel so you've got quite a bit of a decent amount of juice going through that i think now you've also got little uh little uh side uh takeout spots or little uh little notches little grooves here to put like uh, some paracord or some wire or whatever if you want to wire it on to something attaches something or even i started thinking if you had a big enough backpack you could actually put this on the back of your backpack and while walking being charged charge whatever that needs to be charged now obviously uh there is the same with the venture 35 but with the nomad 10 there are other solar panels out there not just the nomad 10 there's like the nomad 5 the nomad 10 the nomad 20 nomad I don't know, there's several other sizes of panels. Obviously, the bigger size of panel you get, the more expensive it will be. But this will charge the Venture 35. In my experience, it depends on how much sun you have. If it's a kind of an overcast day, it's going to take a bit longer, but it's rated to charge it from 6 to 12 hours. And it charged it from basically zero to full. And this was, this was actually a mostly sunny day there were some clouds a little bit but a pretty much sunny day and it was about seven to eight hours on average a charger from zero to a hundred and charging this venture 35 from the wall outlet takes about three hours so if you're not out in the middle of nowhere with no other power source but if you are somewhere close to a power source i would definitely recommend using a wall outlet or a car or something to charge this thing much faster. Now the cost of both the Venture 35 and Nomad 10 is approximately $120 for both of these. The Venture 35 being around 60 and the Nomad 10 being around 60. Yeesh, a little bit pricey, but before you think, oh David, there is way better priced ones uh, out there with far more uh, power output, which is true. There are other power banks out there that have way more power, way more juice, can charge it way faster, and have have way more for like you can get them for like I don't know 50, 60 bucks for something with about almost double the capacity as this one. But you're not counting in the fact that first of all, another th cool thing about the Venture 35 and the Nomad 10 is they're both 100% waterproof. You could, they, you, it's actually rated, you could just go out and drop it in a pond. I think it has a rating of being submerged for approximately, I think what one meter of submer submerge is approximately 30 minutes is what this thing is rated for due to the fact of its nice uh, rubber cover that co covers all of the sensitive important parts that might be affected by the water. And how durable they both are. This is a very durable design, how this is made. Same with the Venture 35. The Venture 35 is very well built as well. It's got the stainless, or I think it's, uh, maybe it's aluminum, aluminum outer shell along with this hard, uh, or this uh, kind of a soft, comfortable rubber all the way around it. So you probably would not have to really worry about dropping this thing either. And the total weight of both of these is the panel is I believe 1.2, pounds somewhere in there and this is about approximately 10.1 ounces or 287 grams so these are both kind of a bit of a weighty are these are both kind of weighty items but uh, you can definitely feel the, the build quality 
in these as well. So if you are just someone who wants a solar uh, a power bank to have around the house, maybe take it on some road trips, you know, not uh, really want to take it out in the wilderness, and you're not worried about the whole waterproof thing, then I would probably recommend that you go for something like a uni uh a solar power bank something a little bit cheaper with way more output but as far as durability and waterproof dust proof as far as all that goes i would strongly recommend that you get something like this and i do know that after three years of having this that this still functions fine and i don't really see much of any less power than it was when i first received it so now let's get into the specs of the venture 35. Now, same with the Nomad 10, there are other Venture models out there, the Venture 30, Venture 35, Venture, and they all jump all the way up to 70, Venture 70, and then a bunch of other uh, solar uh, battery banks as well, which are not the, uh, the Venture, uh, uh, the Venture category is the durable, rugged style ones. And the Venture 75 is going to be more expensive that you're approaching around $100 then, but you get like double the capacity as what this one is. Now the battery in this Venture 35 is 9,600 milliamp hours. This is kind of a fast charger. It's got a fast uh, charging uh, capabilities, both of the 15 watt outputs with five volts. Through both of these ports, you got two USB ports and then you got a USB uh, C port that you can double as an output or an input. That's that's where you charge it. That's the only port for charging is the USB-C, which is the cable that is right here that is included when you buy the Venture 35 and the Nomad 10. Now over here, when you hit, when you just quick press this battery button over here, it'll light up these four uh, blue bars, which is 25, 50, 75, and 100% battery capacity. Now, when you hold on this uh, battery, uh, when you hold on this battery button here, it will activate a 50 luma LED flashlight. So you also get a flashlight with this as well. Now, what it is rated for, it says uh, up to three phone charges per each cycle of this from zero from 100 to zero percent. You're supposed to be able to charge your phone three times and a tablet one and a half times. I personally, I, I am currently using the Samsung uh, Galaxy A25, which is a little bit more of a beefy phone. It takes a little bit more energy. Most of the new phone, because when this was out, uh, a lot of phones didn't take that much battery, but the newer phones definitely use more battery so i get about one and a half to two charges depending on the level my phone is i do not have a tablet so i was unable to test that i do plug some of my drones into it and it's able to charge one or two batteries depending on the size of which drone i have plugged into it so essentially it does pretty much everything that they described in the description of very very close the amount of charges uh, again, will differ on the size of phone you have. You got a you got a bigger phone. It's obviously going to take more power. Now, the one thing I will say about this is if if you charge this all the way up, uh, the battery will actually run itself down because it's self discharging to save the. I think that might be why the battery is still lasting. This will auto self uh, discharge safety feature. So that way, if you leave it in storage for a while, it won't uh, damage all the batteries. In, or, or the battery inside there to the point where you cannot use it because I put it in there and about a month and a half two months later of not using it the battery was down to exactly one bar and I charged up and it works fine now but anyway as stated before there are definitely more affordable options just not with the durability and such a rugged option because these are can be used outside uh, they're dust proof it's waterproof you, in other words, you don't have to be super duper careful with this like you would with other power banks. Well, there you have it. There's my thoughts on the Venture 35 and the Nomad 10. So uh, I guess until next time, this is Drone 2 Robotics. Over and out. <laughs>